Good day, Merry Meet. My name is Glennis and I am the Witch of Whitetail Hollow. I want to warmly welcome you to my channel. I want to thank you guys so, so much for joining me. If you haven't subscribed, hit the button, hit the notification bell, because I upload very, very randomly. And uh, But thank you for joining me. I wanted to share with you today something that I do for my own protection. I don't always, always do this, but in cases like today, as you can see, I'm kind of preparing for a, a good bit of spell workings. Saturdays, which is today, are great, incredible days to do banishments, bindings, breakup work, all kinds of, you know, your dark, more serious spell workings. And with the the lunar cycle that we're in right now, it couldn't it couldn't have come any better. So I'm very thrilled. But I just wanted to share with you uh, just a wee bit of spell workings to do ahead of time to protect yourself. And certainly you do you. Uh, I have already taken my cleansing bath, and I believe. I have already shared that with you guys before. If I have, I will drop that link below so you can, you know, see what I do. It's, it's basically just a good cleansing bath. Use your own worries. You know, at the end of the week, do a good cleanse. Friday night, Saturday, do a good cleansing bath. Let go of all that negativity and kind of, it's like a basic reset and then Sunday I'll reset <laughs> after this working I will reset again but um, just a little bit of cord magic just you know just to cover your bases now there's some that are more Wiccan you know by the power of three three knots I bind on you know I do I do it slightly different um, I'm, I'm a little more, I guess, I guess I'm just different. I'm a little eclectically different. But start with your cleansing bath. I'm going to burn a little bit of uh, sandalwood. You guys know I love sandalwood. A little bit of sandalwood. Uh, a little bit of lavender. And I'm sure I have it here somewhere. <laughs> Do a little bit of incense burning. And have a very very dark cord if you want to use white I personally use a dark cord but and make your first knot and if you if you want to anoint this that's fine you certainly don't have to I do this with my intentions my cleansing bath my intentions but um, make your first knot as protection May no harm come to me or mine. And that's your protection aspect. And to prevent his days of rage, this spell does disengage. And to bind another knot around this image this image that you may have in your brain of whatever kind of spell working that you're doing around this image this rope I bind from him for all time and your reversal aspect of this so speak I the words that all his pain to him shall return. And lastly, the cursing part of it, for those who dare come after you, or me, and suffer he will for all he's done ill to others. And you take your your little binding and what I will do is I will take this 
and put this in my pocket. And as long, and of course, while I'm casting the spell, and as long as everything else is, you know, going on, I typically, depending on the spell, and you guys know, you know, you may do a spell and you may burn the candle throughout the day. Throughout the day, keep this in your pocket. Keep this on you. And more than likely, this is going to be staying with me for a, a good, good while. But um, it's just a, a little bit of preventative work. And um, there you go. It's just as simple as that. I hope that you join me later today. I'm going to be making a, um, another video for you guys that with the holiday season upon us, you that a lot of us are going to be traveling or you may know someone who's going to be traveling. I'm going to be doing a wee bit just a very wee bit of um, traveling protection, you know, happy traveling spell workings. And I will share that with you guys later today. Thank you so much for joining me today. Stay happy, healthy, safe, merry part, and I hope to merry meet again. Goodbye, guys.